Hi, East Heights. I hope that you've had a wonderful week. And I am here getting ready to talk to you about our sixth item from our Lint in a Box. Now, if you don't have your own Lint in a Box, that's okay. Um, there may still be some there on the, the garden entrance area of the church. But if not, you can still watch this and still get something out of it. I doubt that you're going to have this next item at your house so so maybe you have it in storage you can remember but today our week six item helps us to remember palm sunday and it is this palm cross it's been made from a palm branch um, folded up just right and so it makes a cross and hopefully you can find yours in your box as well. Um, we're gonna read a little bit about this from our handout that came in the Linton box. It's also on our website. So if you would like to have this handout for yourself, you can download it. But this is what it reminds us here on this Palm Sunday. This is the day that we celebrate the story of Jesus's entry into Jerusalem. And you can find that in Matthew 21, in Mark 11, and Luke 19. Also in John, starting at verse 12. In worship, we traditionally pass out palm leaves and they are waved in victory and kept in homes as a daily reminder of the victory of Christ. The palm cross that you have in your box was made from a palm frond as a symbol that the ultimate victory of Christ was his sacrifice. So you are encouraged today to hold that palm cross in your hand, feel it there in your hand, maybe take a deep breath and um, remember that this symbolizes the ultimate sacrifice of Jesus for us. You might even remember what is to come this holy week, right? In the days ahead um, leading up to Easter. So I invite you to carefully put this in, in with your other symbols. We certainly don't want to start it on fire, do we? Because it would probably burn pretty well. Um, and then find your matches if you are an adult or have an adult close by. And uh, we'll put that back a little bit. Go ahead and light your candle. And think about these questions with me. How can you celebrate Christ as your savior? Knowing what is to come later this week, share a time in your life that has tinged with both celebration and pain and sorrow. You know, so many of our life experiences aren't all wonderful and aren't totally bad, right? A lot of our life experiences are both good and bad, and that's what Palm Sunday reminds us about, right? It's the passion of Jesus coming into Jerusalem on the donkey and people waving their palm branches or the celebration. But we know that as the week goes on, there is also um, great sorrow and death. And so this week holds both for us, the celebration of Palm Sunday and then also the passion. Um, it's important for us to feel both of those things this week. Otherwise, we won't fully um, appreciate and celebrate Easter joy. So think about a time in your own life that was both good and bad at the same time. And think about what that taught you, um, what it maybe prepared you for later on in life. Let's pray. Oh God, we do thank you for Palm Sunday, this day when we celebrate and also turn to the week ahead and know what is coming. We pray that in those times in our lives when um, we are feeling the dichotomy, when we are feeling both good and bad, that you will be there, that you will redeem it and help us to know you more and to love others more. In Jesus' name, amen. I look forward to seeing you again on Thursday. Um, we will get our little communion cups out of our boxes. I'll see you Friday as well for the nail that's in your box. And, um, and then on Easter Sunday, that day, there's nothing in your box. It's empty, just like the tomb. But we encourage you, even if you're not going to be able to be on site for worship, to stop by 
the church um, because we will be doing the Easter flower cross and um, have your picture taken there and then be sure to send in your pictures so that we can have them of you and your family, your friends with you perhaps um, there at the church in front of the cross. I look forward to seeing you again this week. Bye-bye.